My name is Elmer Ayala and my age is 31. I was in high school. I was dealing with a lot of body images issues because in high school you had to look a certain way to date a certain person or to find people to find you attractive or to have friends, to be popular. You had to have the cool clothes, you had to be skinny because I was told a lot friends they were overweight, will start using drugs, and because they're using drugs, they start losing weight. And it didn't seem like it was a lot of hard work. It seemed like it was easy just to get high, and the weight will come off. No matter how much drugs you use, and it doesn't matter how skinny you get, at the end, you're still not happy. So it was really difficult for me. Men aren't supposed to be sensitive. Men aren't supposed to show emotion. Men are just supposed to push through and not show any, like, any, any, hurt, any hurt. And as far as I go, I'm, I'm a very sensitive person as it is. Being a, being a male. And so in a world where we're not allowed to speak about it, it, it just pushed me into a depression. So I have biodysmorphia and I can't look at the mirror because I, I feel ugly. And if I feel ugly, I get depressed. And that's the, that's the issue that I have with myself. And bringing that up to people and explaining that to somebody for it to make sense, there's not enough knowledge out there for people to under, grasp it and understand it. So it's easily like looked at like a, a, like a weakness. I think people, once they find out that you have a mental illness, they look at you differently. They value you less. They don't think you're as good as they are because you're not all there or you know whatever stigma it comes with. You know, I'm diagnosed bipolar, stage one with manic episodes, and I live a normal life just like anybody else does. One of the things that I would like to add is for parents, it's important, I feel, to start acknowledging these things and, and be informed and, and, and learn about these things because now that my parents know the issues that I've gone, they regret not noticing it and regret not like doing better on, on that aspect because they see my struggles. And I feel like uh, as parents, people need to like go that little extra effort and go out of your way to pick up a book or go out of your way to go on a website and like educate yourself because ultimately education and knowledge is, is power.